this is a remote control for a television and some of the buttons on this have stopped working so the power button and the channel buttons they they aren't working anymore other buttons still work you can push this menu button and a few of the others so I know the remote is still good and the batteries are working it's just a matter of cleaning it so that all of the buttons are working so I'm going to show you how to do that it's really easy uh, we're going to start by removing the batteries those aside uh, and then um, there's actually just three screw holes where there are screws that I'm going to remove there might be a fourth one or another one on your remote inside where the batteries are so be sure to check for that I'll pop these out I'll set these screws aside I'll separate the remote as carefully as we can. Okay. Uh, this top half of the remote, we have a little uh, rubber keypad. It's got all these little contact points inside of it. So when you push it, when you push a button, um, that little contact is actually going to. Um, make contact with these little points on the circuit board. So this little rubber keypad, a lot of times you'll get uh, dirt and grease and whatever else. Plus it's just kind of gross looking. I don't know if you can see that. So um, I'm actually just going to wash this off first, just under some, under some running water. I'm use just a little bit of soap on this. Kind of rub that around. Okay, now that that's all clean, we'll set it aside to dry. Okay, now I'm going to take care of cleaning the uh, circuit board. I'm going to separate it here. Uh, and these are the little contacts here that we need to clean. Um, this is the back side where our batteries go and the little infrared light. Very simple, very simple design. Uh, I'm actually just going to use some alcohol, some uh, isopropyl alcohol to clean this. You can get this at a drugstore. And some Q-tips. So I'm going to dip a Q-tip in this alcohol. And we're just going to go over each of these little contact points. You can see uh, the dirt on that Q-tip. good sign. Okay, I've finished cleaning it and you can see from these four q-tips that there was quite a bit of dirt um, on the uh, on the circuit board. Um, now before I put it all back together. I'm actually just going to dry this off with a little cotton swab just to make sure there's not any water left on it or any residue from the alcohol. Oops. Okay, now that our circuit board is clean and the keypad is dry we're ready to put it all back together. It's just the opposite of how I took it apart. So I'm going to put this back in this half of the remote and the keypad back in this half. There's little posts that slip through the rubber keypad just to help things stay aligned. Make sure all the buttons are uh, showing through. and ready to snap them back into place. There we go. Put the screws back in. And 
their batteries. We're all set. That's all there is to it.